basically liquid rubber is, uh, was developed to address the, the needs for waterproofing, uh, corrosion control, uh, protecting against obnoxious gases and, and even some health concern gases like radon gases. Uh, it's a very friendly, no VOC type of a coating that can be applied by the homeowner or by a contractor depending on the, the size and the scope of the job. The best possible way to think of liquid rubber probably is as, as an adhesive because that really is what it does. It sticks to things. But it has the ability of taking a lot of dissimilar materials, sticking them together, and sticking that to something. Now as an adhesive, you can attach it to the back of anything you want. In this case, we're showing ceramic tiles that you would, like you would put around your washroom area. We attach it to the wall, we put the liquid rubber on the wall, and we put the tile right onto the liquid rubber. It holds it in place. Now you see all different types of tiles, and you can also do this with different types of materials. You can do it with a styrofoam, act as the insulation. Then you can coat the styrofoam, put on uh, different types of colored granule rocks or systems. Anything you'd like to use, you can use your imagination. You can put up wainscoting and, and put this in place of the, uh, the adhesive that they're giving you, or you can go right to the floor and attach all the tiles on the floor the same way. Showing how much of an adhesive it is, we've got just a cloth. We've coated the, uh, the concrete block, the standard block, and we've let the adhesive power do it. Here it is, and it's just the liquid rubber holding it to the block. Totally friendly. Now that block is now waterproof. That block is acting as, as a hanger bolt for this, and it's also chemical resistance. It's protecting that concrete against uh, chlorides, uh, against anything that might be attacking or, or fracturing the concrete, and it's also doing that movement with the concrete. When the concrete cracks, it'll bridge across the crack so it does not leak. Now we're going over for rust and corrosion control. And as I mentioned, this will probably be the biggest industry for liquid rubber because it totally shuts down rust in its tracks. And it's not us saying this. The largest governing body in Canada for research has tested the product and it's passed with flying colors on it. Very friendly. Power wash all the loose rust off and apply it directly to the rust. No sandblast is required. There's no environmental concerns involved. Okay, here we go. We're going to put it down over the sharp instrument Pretend this is a roofing nail going through, or a sharp object trying to penetrate your liner. Here it is, it can't get through it, it's moving with it, now it's going to come back, we're going to remove it, and what it's going to do now is it's going to come back and make that same square again. That's called memory. Now most uh, products out there, something drives through it, it creates a hole, and that, that, that's perforated. This will come back, touch itself again, and reheal if you, if you ever do go through it. Hot cold, think hot, cold, expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction. It's moving and it's raking with the building structure or with the substrate. You have wood, you have concrete, you have metal, they all move at different rates. And this is what caused problems with conventional types of coatings. This product is, is so environmentally unique and friendly. No VOCs, no solvents, nothing is going to hurt you. This is a cardboard box, it's four years old, we're floating around these flowers to show you the water. Most coatings, when you apply them on a roof, will tell you right there, no standing water or your warranty is void. Well, we make ponds with this product. We, we line tanks with this product. Standing water isn't a problem. This is a standard roof vent that we've put into a cardboard box, and all we've done is brush liquid rubber all through the box. That's four years old. And again, liquid rubber moving and raking, hot, cold, summer, winter. <laughs>